Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Birdie here. What's going on guys? Okay, so what you're watching here is Bruce Lee shaking hands with Ed Parker. Now, if you don't know who Ed Parker was, he was one of the most badass karate guys in the 60s and 70s. And this is the famous Ed Parker International Tournament and Bruce Lee was the guest of honor. So how did this happen? How did Bruce Lee become the guest of honor in one of the biggest karate tournaments in the world, okay? And Bruce Lee was not a karate guy himself, remember? So how did this happen? Well, Bruce Lee started opening schools, Kung Fu schools in the 60s in the United States, and those schools started gaining popularity and traction, and Ed Parker heard this. He heard there was a guy called Bruce Lee. He was opening schools in the United States, Kung Fu schools. And you know, Ed Parker was different from the other karate guys in the 60s and 70s. You have to remember, guys, that in the 60s and 70s, karate was the be-all and end-all. Everybody did karate. Some people did taekwondo, but rarely. Everybody did karate. But Ed Parker was different. He was actually interested in martial arts and in Chinese Kung Fu. He had already read books on Chinese Kung Fu. So he was open. He was like Bruce Lee. He wanted to learn. But in the core, he was a Kempo Karate guy. So he contacted Bruce Lee and he booked a flight for him to California. And they met and they started talking about martial arts. And they really hit it off. But... Ed Parker wanted a real fight with Bruce Lee. He was brutally honest to Bruce Lee. He said, Bruce, before this relationship continues, before I start inviting you to my Ed Parker tournaments, we need to have a real fight. I want to test my Kempo Karate against your Chinese Kung Fu. And Bruce Lee said yes. And this, unlike most of Bruce Lee's fight that ended like in a few seconds, this fight actually lasted a while, okay? This was a hard-fought battle. And this is, I think, I think maybe this is the only time I've heard Bruce Lee fighting a guy for over 10 minutes. This fight lasted over 10 minutes, guys. So this was a hard-fought battle between a Chinese Kung Fu master and an American Kempo Karate master, okay? So I'm, uh, this gives me a lot of respect for Ed Parker because I've never heard of any of Bruce Lee's fight lasting more than a, maybe a couple of minutes, you know. If the Ip Man fight lasted for like a few minutes, that's what Linda Lee said. Uh, and yeah, so this fight lasted over 10 minutes. And it was a hard-fought battle and Bruce Lee won the fight in the end. He managed to hit Ed Parker with a kick in the face and he actually injured his jaw. Uh, I don't know if he had to go to the hospital or not, but I know that he injured his jaw, and that's where the fight ended. And they became really great friends. I'm talking really great friends. Ed Parker had nothing but respect for Bruce Lee, and he invited him to all of the upcoming tournaments, and Bruce Lee was the guest of honor in all of those tournaments. So you have to remember that uh, Chuck Norris was Ed Parker's student and Elvis, etc., etc. This guy, this Ed Parker, was one of the most badass karate guys on the planet. So Bruce Lee defeating this guy, he knew that Bruce Lee was a legit guy when he got defeated, okay? So he gained tons of respect for Bruce Lee, and that's where the relationship started. And that's why Bruce Lee became the guest of honor in all of these tournaments. And actually, Ed Parker invited Bruce Lee to learn American Kempo at his schools. And Bruce Lee did. Bruce Lee actually went there and he sparred with Ed Parker's students. Now, there's a rumor going around that actually Bruce Lee and Elvis Presley met at one of those sparring sessions. I couldn't confirm this, but, you know, Elvis Presley was Ed Parker's premier student. And Elvis Presley was a legit karate guy, remember? So there's a rumor going around that they met each other and sparred together. But I couldn't confirm that. So it's just a rumor. But yeah, there we go, guys. That was one of the most brutal fights I think Bruce Lee was in. 
I think Ed Parker put everything in that fight and he lost. And he like he gained tons of respect for Bruce Lee. Imagine inviting this unknown guy, this Chinese unknown guy, to the biggest karate tournament on the planet, and he is the guest of honor, and he's not even a karate guy. That's how much respect Ed Parker had for Bruce Lee. So there we go, guys. Thanks for listening. See you guys later. Bye.